It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Fulham up against Newcastle United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Anthony Robinson. He is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out in tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. Miguel Almiron plays with Alan San Maxima in the wide areas. And the striker is Callum Wilson. And now they get the ball rolling. Palinja, Mitrovic, and reading it absolutely superbly. Must take the lead here, and not cleared away properly. Oh, and off the bar. Well, they've started the game really brightly here, and they've looked dangerous. But that was a top-class save from the keeper. Brilliant from him. And a strong tackle. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Mitrovic. Reed. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mitrovic. Well, they've lost the ball. Guimaraes Wilson with it with the owner of the blue car parked outside reception please move it immediately well, racing you. past his man Joel Linton just cutting off the supply Almiron and a significant block following that cross well as you can see it wasn't even close was it no debate about that one <laughs> elects to go short well not the best clearance Almiron. And now Trippier. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Sam Aximan. 
Target. Really good block. Good work to regain possession. And caught by the keeper. Newcastle moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Bobby Ray. Now with Mitrovic. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. And making headway. Options in the centre. However, nothing comes of it. Now that's a good reflection. That'll be a corner. It's a short one, laid into the centre. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. So the corner played into the box. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Fabian Cher. Can they forge ahead? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Well, there it is. Half time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. It certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times but we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. It's a short one. Played it. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. An effective challenge. Oh, getting the ball forward. Fine teamwork to win it back. And they deal with the threat this time. Not much time to make up his mind. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Getting in there to intercept. And attempting the through ball. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. But into the keeper's gloves. And he has options available. Now the keeper grabs it. Almiron, looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, good work by the keeper. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Number 21, Daniel James. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. 
And he cuts in from the wing. Mitrovic. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Guimaraes. Here's Isaac on the offensive. Promising sequence. Trippier. And it's with Isaac. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. Now, options are plenty. Well, that ball looks promising. Flag raised for offside. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. The Magpies looking creative. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Just ten minutes to go. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Read it well. Isaac. On to Wilson. Joel Linton. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Pereira. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a... Oh, good save to keep it all square. Well, that's a vital stop. What a good save that is. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And short it is. And whipped into the box. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. So two minutes to be added on at the end. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes here.